All right, everybody, welcome back to part 17 of this Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. So we just finished up the Honest Hearts DLC, and we're going to start with the White Glove Society in the Ultra Lux Casino. The first thing I'm going to do is fast travel over to Gun Runners, because I need to drop some stuff, sell some stuff, get rid of it. Who are you running at? Also, where's that kid with the little toy gun? I need him back around here. Because I didn't have the money to pay, pay for it earlier on, but now I can. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Yes. I. What do you got? 5.56 five, 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 pistol. That's the... That gun, pretty much. Got a brush rifle. I already have that, I think. No, battle rifle and brush gun. LMG. Wow. I want that a lot. And marksman carbine. It's 5.56, five, though. But if I get rid of... Oh, Assault Carbine is 5 mil. Let's start selling stuff I have first. I have plenty of shish kebabs. Sell those. I want to keep the Power Fist. I'm going to put that in the storage chest in my area. In the penthouse. What else do I have? Plasma grenades. I don't use grenades that lot often. Or at all, really. Oh, I dropped all the fire axes I had. Didn't I? Dang it. Kind of wish I still had those. I'm keeping sleepy time. The trail carbine I'm probably going to sell. Because this 308 hunting rifle is actually better. Keeping that. I keep on accidentally flipping over to the next menu. So I'm keeping grenade launcher. I did it again. I'm going to get rid of the hunting revolver. Actually, I'm hold on to that. What else do I have to sell? Kind of want to keep these. I have these other, like, Joshua Graham's armor that I want to hold on to. The DT is actually just as good as my uh, combat armor, which is insane. But I'm going to keep keep it. Miscellaneous. Do I have anything to sell? I'm going to put these on those guns and then put those in storage. So hold on to those. So what do I, what do I want to get here? So I can get the LMG. I could get the Marksman Carbine. But there's also a vault that I want to check out later on. I think it's Vault 34. Up towards the top left of the map that has a a special gun that I want to... I don't know. I'm not going to spoil anything right yet if, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But I think that's a 5.56 five, as well. So... Ooh, I want that. And it's 12 gauge. I'm getting that. Yeah, but that... Yeah. I'm going to get that later, so I'm not going to worry about the Marks McCarbine. If I had enough to sell, I'd probably get the LMG. But I'm already not accurate with what I have, so it's probably not a good idea for me to get anything else. So I could buy spares of this. Forty-one fifty-nine. I don't think I'm gonna worry about that for now. I 
None of these I need. Ammo. What do you got? I'll take, uh... Three fifty seven. Three oh eight rounds. Don't need forty five Magnum too much. Forty five auto. I'm not gonna use any of those, to be honest. So what else you got? You got five five six. Twenty gauge. I I'll, I'll take the twenty gauge. Wait, I need twelve gauge over, over anything. There we go, twelve gauge. Five, five, six. There we go. I'm gonna just stick with that for now. Let's get into the the strip and go up to the penthouse because I think that's the next place. I just need to offload some weight more than anything. Thank you for but we're gonna start with the Ultra Lux. Uh, I know a little bit of the area of this the story of this mission. Just from seeing that in the past, but I've not really done it. So we're going to see together what it's all like. So let's just op offload some inventory first. Where to, partner? Presidential suite. Okay. Wait. Forgot Boone and uh, Veronica are in here, aren't they? Somewhere. Well, let's drop some weapons. Oh, let me put the... Weapons. Oh, I don't... Did I sell the 45 auto pistol? Well, that sucks. Well, it has that at least. So I'm not going to use that. Oh, yeah, the Light and Shining Darkness is the 45 auto. Can I mod that one? Oh, you can't mod that, can you? Because I do have the 45... Dang. That sucks. Let's keep, uh... I'm going to store that. As well as the Assault Carbine. 12-7 pistol and the submachine gun. Well, what do I... I need some submachine gun. I need something that shoots fast. But what do I want? Hunting revolver I'm going to put away. And the shotgun. If I have that riot shotgun, I'm going to use that more than anything. She's embrace and that. Oh, sleepy time. That's what I'll keep, isn't it? Eh, but it's... I'm not going to keep the pistol and the and that on me. So I do want to recharge your pistol. I think I'm going to hold on to that. Yeah, I mean, the amount of ammo I have for police pistol and the riot shotgun, I'm not going to need it. I don't really like the hunting stuff or the laser weapons. And then let's put actual wardrobe or one of these oh there it is chalk's headdress now this needs to go in the other armor i don't need any more speech and perception i'm maxed out on that pretty much joshua graham's armor i'm gonna hold that salt upon wounds helmets and the vault 22 jumpsuit I'm going to hold on to both uh, Daniel's armor and Joshua Graham because Daniel's has that med 5, barter 5. That's pretty useful. I think I'm going to put away the combat armor. I mean, DT-15 compared to Joshua Graham's also 15 and it's light armor. So I'll put away the armor, keep the helmet if I need it. What else do I need to get rid of here? I will put... Do I have another storage chest? Weapon trunk one. 
Well, I put... Ooh, I put... Um... Eight items in here. Okay. I don't need eight, eight items in there anymore. I kind of want to keep all my storage items in one area, so... Let's put... Nah, I really need to keep those somewhere else. I think there's a repair station in here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Workbench locker. I'll put... Put those in here. Can I do anything with these? Like, uh, salvage any of them? Recycling. Do that. Recycle all I can. That works. So I'm down on weight a little bit. I think technically this is a vendor, so... What do y'all have? Got caps, so... I'm probably going to put away that caravan shotgun. I just... I don't need to worry about that ammo if I have the riot shotgun. And the combat knife. I'll keep grenade lock. What do I... Is there anything I want to keep out of here, though? So I do have a battle rifle, 308. Wait. Is it better than the hunting rifle? 50, 57 compared to... Forty-six ninety-nine. Cause I'm keeping. I was keeping the hunting rifle because it does more damage. But if it's pretty close, especially with a uh, faster fire rate compared to the battle rifle, I'll keep the battle rifle more than anything. I do have a fat man. Rat Slayer is still awesome, but I just... I'm not very accurate with rifles that aren't, like, faster fire rate. Okay, let's get out of here. We've spent so long in here already. I'm sorry for taking away from the episode. Got way too distracted. I wanted to do this before the episode, but I didn't want to leave y'all out of too much stuff. So, we are never going to do Gamora. Those people are just going to be... I'll, I'll, I'll step inside for a second, but I'm not putting that on YouTube. I'm good. I tell you, last night some girl was pounding on my door all night. So Ultralux is way over there. For some reason I was thinking of the tops. But I won't film the Gamora. I'll probably do the... Maybe I'll do the quest off camera, or I'll just trigger the quest so I can say ignore them. That might be what I do. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Ah, uh, sure, here you go. My deepest apology, but we simply can't have any... Please. They'll be... Okay. Adieu. I skipped through that. My bad. What do I... What did I keep? No weapons at all. Okay. That's... Slightly concerning. Oh, why you have a gun out? Evening. Gunderson hired hand. Heck, Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. You lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. 
I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Let me help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot Fair of enough. people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. Okay. Let me access Beyond the Beef. Ask around the Ultralux. Where is this leading to? Somebody over here I need to talk to. Receptionist? Is it? No, you're Greetings. not. Who am I talking to here? Gourmand? Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I'm looking for someone who went, who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. Hold up. The White Glove Society used to eat human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that yeah, sort used of to, thing? Though. We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. I'm not going to say that. Okay. Who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. I'm investigating someone else, a man, and he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way I could talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is... I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Okay. Ta-ta. Where's Mortimer? He's out here again. Yeah, it's a little suspicious that... People are missing in the used-to-be cannibal hotel. That's mighty suspicious. How may I be of service, sir? Marjorie said you gave a free room to a private investigator. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Actually, I just need to... Wait. Actually, I'm on an investigation, too. I'm hoping we can help each other out. You are? Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. 
Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. I've heard your group dines on human flesh. I'm just going to ah, add that in there. Yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that. No. Indeed. No, I'm not doing that. Where is this? Hotel rooms. One floor up. I'm not doing anything to support their cause. Oh. Oh, great. The private inge investigator just so happens... Over here. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Come on. Fist fight, okay. You guys suck. Come on. Okay, let's take we're gonna do this the take forever way. Uh unarmed plus ten. And let's do Damage resistance plus 25. Take a Mentat. Psycho. Try not to get re resisted to drugs here. And some Stimpaks get all the way back up on health. You guys. You like that? Okay, I need to find a weapon here or something, because... Ooh, a knife. I know, I lost karma, but I don't care. Take some more stim packs, get all the way back up. Knife. This is very pathetic combat. Let's close the door. Oh, gonna get wrecked here. Let's take some super, super stim packs. I'm gonna blow through freaking stim packs during this fight. Come on. Come at me. Had enough. Come on. Ah! Had enough? Okay, got one down. Let's take more stim packs. I need if I'm doing uh Had melee enough. combat, I need to get more focused on blocking actually. What's up, homie? What then? I'm gonna steal their outfits though. I know that. Dress cane actually does quite a bit of damage. DPS 44 compared to like nothing. So. What did, what did that, what does that apparel give me? Nothing? Oh, let's put away the, so what does the quest say now after that horrible, meet with the investigator's contact in the Ultralux steam room at 4 p.m. Okay, 
Steam room at 4 p.m. What time is it now? 5 p.m. Okay. Well, that sucks. Who are you? Just looking for someone who, who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? He's dead. Oh my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So is Mortimer behind the Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans, but we weren't always the White Glove Society. Yeah, I get Mortimer it. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. That's just I guess sloppy. That's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. What about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. They're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps if you were to gain some more notoriety on the strip, we could get you in. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in and, and God. They might. But to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appear. He just had. Okay, I'm going to skip through this a little bit. How do I get in? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Although that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose. What if what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Okay, thank you for the... Let's... Oh, come on now. Oh, that DPS is actually nice. Wow. That DPS is actually really good. I'm sorry, Chauncey. You, I, that sucks. Didn't want you to go out like that, man. But I can use the 22 pistol. DPS is actually lower than the K. Ah, slightly. Put that away. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Yeah, I'm still dressed as a member of the White Glove Society. That's what I wanted. Wait, what's the... Quest looking like? How do I find Philippe? 
Is this Gourmand at the Ultra Lux? Who are you? Is oh, I look like heck. Let me make a save here. I don't want to ruin my chance here, but I want to see what this leads to. Greetings. You look positively famished. We simply can't have that. What do you have for sale? Wasteland omelet. Okay, goodbye. What? I'm hidden. Let me just lockpick this. Who are you? Are you the chef? Where's Gorm Where's uh Philippe at? Let's make another save. I don't want to accidentally ruin something here. One actual uh, bad step can just ruin this quest for me. Keep going that way. Just gotta find where the chef is. He ain't there. That's inaccessible. Okay, he kept walking. Where is Philippe at? Oh, that must be Philippe. So... Really? That's... damaged? Do I have anything that'll boost? Do I have any med books? Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. I think you may have me confused with someone else. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. Ooh, Barter 55. I'm here to talk business. I'm interested in putting out a cookbook. What, me? The supreme ruler of the Nevada dining scene? Teach some low-life halfwits how to make food that doesn't smell like burning excrement? Do you think it would sell? Yes, we're a major publisher. But as a sign of good faith, I'll need recipes. You're pushing your luck. Here, I have a few copies on me. This better be good enough. We're gonna have a real problem if this thing isn't a hit. Your predisposition towards anger suggests unresolved issues in your past. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because mumsy and daddy kids <laughs> didn't hug me enough. Okay. You may be projecting. Tell me more about your parents. We're, we're going to see how far this goes. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Sounds like it is. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? Yeah. I can't stay here. I need to be alone. What about the banquet? Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. <laughs> okay. You'll always feel empty. I pushed him to the limit. So, freezer key. Is this the freezer? Oh, it is. Well, okay. Let me make sure this quest is going right. You hear that there was some kind of shootout? Well, let me make another save. I'm gonna talk to Ted first. One of them, cause my daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. 
Calm down, I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it, I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. I don't know who did this. Alright, fine. I'm right behind you. Well, actually, hold up. If I can cook this food... Hey, come here. Use the intercom to call in the head waiter. How may I assist? At once. So there's the waiters coming. Uh, get back in here, dude. So it's saying... Bring Ted to the members only section. Where is that at? Hey, sneak, dude. Sneak. Do I need to follow him? Where is this taking me? Local map. Uh, we're gonna see what goes back this way. Nothing. Okay. What's here? Over here. Oh crap. Well, reload that. So talk to you. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. My daddy sent you? God. Don't know who did this. Okay. So, we need to drug the wine. I don't know where to do that at. But we're gonna cook this. How do we drug the wine? Is this the wine? So what do we do now? Okay, well we're gonna... I, I still don't know where to go, though. That's engage lock. I don't want to do that. Well, we're going to call head waiter again. How may I assist? Well, time to serve the meal. At one. That's an optional, but I don't know how to... I don't know where I have to go for that. I ain't got to go back out that way. Hey, Ted, sit, sit back there. Found you. Oh, come on. Once again, talk My to Ted. My dad's gonna kill all you. Come to get you out of here. Don't know who did this. Make the imitation food, please. Okay. Call for the food to be served. How may I Time to serve the meal. Now, please, stay back here.
Don't aggro. So I assume it's on that side way over there that I need to go. So I'm going to make a save here. I've done the cooking already. I think I need to slowly follow this dude out. I'm going to let him go by. Oh, detected. Get back, Ted. Get the freak back. Okay, he's walking away. I think I'm bringing him up here. Make a spare save. I think we're getting close here. I want to expose Mortimer. He's a freaking cannibal. We're getting close here. I don't see him in here, so he must have already went through. One more save. Members only section. Can I get you to crouch, please, Ted? I know I'm not the scheduled speaker, but I have a few words if I may. Stay right the freak here. There was a time not so long ago when we were bound together not as members, but as family, as a clan. And when Mr. House came to us with his proposal, we accepted, knowing we stood to gain much. I, I don't mean to cut cut it off, but I gotta make another save. I'm out here. Still did we know I don't want something to go wrong. In the process. As a society, We've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. But we are living a lie. Salutations. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you have coveted it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our people. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet. But you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. Hey, Mortimer. What the? Who is this trespasser? Bad news, Mortimer. No one's eaten the boy you kidnapped tonight. What are you? Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe. It isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Too late, Mortimer. You already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. Hey, uh, make a save. Can I just, like, start shooting you? <laughs> Had enough. Oh, see, they, they go after him. That's amazing. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you. Oh, penthouse key, everything. I'm taking everything. So, where's Marjorie at? She was around here somewhere. Oh, she's on the backside. You're welcome. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. And in front of all these people, too. He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating people. And now this. 
I should have paid more attention to the warning signs. Can you imagine what people would have said? Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. I do want to join, though. Why, yes. It's only natural. That Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought... And it has. But then... And the right people... I'm afraid... Really? If you had more... The answer is... Okay, well, whatever. I don't care. What? Wait, I'm idolized now. Would that be enough? I do hope... Oh, come on. I'm freaking idolized in the strip. Whatever. Let's go back to, uh... Find... What's his name? Wait, what do I need to still do? Okay, gets head back to his father. So, how do I get out of here? Greetings. Does this lead anywhere? Why is this going back to where it was? I don't want to go to Ultralux Kitchen. Is that the only way through here to the kitchen? I just want to go back to the lobby. Really? Is it really only through the... Salutations. What's over here? Those are all... Those aren't doors. It looks like I have to go back through the freaking kitchen just to get out of here. Okay, let's get you back to your father. Oh, it just takes you straight down. That's nice. Let me make a save here. I don't know if this dude's gonna aggro or not. I hope he doesn't. I'm still dressed as a white club, white glove society member, so. You shouldn't aggro, but you never know. He's trying to. You. What do you think you're doing? Mortimer sent me to move the kid. Thinks one of his own might betray him. First he's too trusting. Now he doesn't trust any of us. It addles the senses. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes afoul. Okay. I don't like you. But we're gonna move past. Ooh, I leveled up. Nice. Well, I can get medicine up to 55 now. What else do I want? I want... I want to get sneak up. Let's follow you out. And I think we're right at the cusp of finishing this. Let me just walk right by y'all. Okay, let's find his dad. You're just a gambler, but you look like Heck Gunderson. Ultralux Casino Floor. Well, I can put back on... Uh, Joshua Graham's armor. And that first Recon Beret. I need to repair Daniel's outfit. Oh, am I going the right way here? Oh, yeah, it's out here. I might do a little casino gambling off uh, off screen because I know you can get a lot of caps out of these areas. Oh my God, Ted, are you all right? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. There we you go. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Well, if I want to get rep reputation on the strip, I can't really expose these guys. I I don't know who took them. I just found them. Confound it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to sleep knowing whoever done this got away. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. I'm accepted by the strip. So I could probably become a member of this place if I wanted. Okay, let's get out of here. 
get all my stuff back. Let's go over to the Lucky 38. Let me drop some of this stuff in my penthouse. And we'll finish up this part. Hello. Oh. I forgot. I don't think you can go through this side. You get to go from the other side. Okay. Excuse me, Victor. You creepy robot that follows me all the way through the Mojave Wasteland. I'm afraid one of these times I'm just going to see him in a DLC. I think next one I'm going to end up doing... Wait, is old, world, old old world blues, and I just I'm scared to just turn a corner. Howdy, partner. Nope, I'm leaving. I'm keeping that. I want to see if I can fix that somehow. Formal wear, tuxedo hat, and white glove society. Joshua Graham's armor is just awesome. Weapons. I think the only weapon I really gain is the cane staff or dress cane. Which is actually really good for DPS. The knife kind of sucks. And I'll keep the silence 22. That riot shotgun looks awesome. Look at that. Let's open this. Put away knife. High roller sweet. Okay, let's go down to the casino. Casino floor... And I think this is where I'm going to end it for this part. Next time, I'm not going to go right into the DLC, the next DLC. I'm actually going to do the Great Cons. I've done White Glove Society and the Boomers. I've fixed the cannibalism problem, and I got the Boomers to support me. So next I'm going to do the Red, go to Red Rock Canyon and make contact with the Great Cons. Yeah, I'm going to help them out. And then I'll do another DLC. Okay, well, this is where I'm going to end this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave any feedback in the comments down below. Uh, you can definitely take a different path in these uh, caps, huh? faction the missions. Because I probably could have just gone on guns blazing. Well, gun blazing, because I only have the silence 22. But I went with the path where I could probably diplomacy my way out of everything. So leave any feedback down below, and I'll see you on the next part. Take care.